Hey there. In the past, I've done some videos with uh, Postman showing you how you can use the Marketo API, but today I want to take it a step further and show you how you can do it in Python as well. So I think you'll find out uh, once you start using Python, it uh, gives you quite a bit more power when actually working with the API. So excited to show you that. Uh, I am working in um, what's called Fani. It's a uh, Python development environment. You can use whichever one you want, um, but this is the one that I chose. Um, so to get started, you'll see at the top, I'm importing uh, some libraries here that I'm going to be using uh, further on. So these are important. So I'm importing uh, JSON. I'm importing time. I'm actually not using that uh, in what I'm showing you today. Uh, and then requests will be very important. So you need to import those libraries and, and install them if you don't, but I believe all of these are standard Python. So um, you won't actually need to um, install anything aside from Python itself. Uh, looking at this first section, um, these are going to be the variables and I've named them MMC, MCI, and MCS. You can name them whatever you want, but they stand for, in my case, uh, the munchkin for your instance, then uh, the client ID and the client secret, which you can get from LaunchPoint. Um, for whatever service that you're using. So I'm using those as variables and we're going to use that here um, in our next call. So coming down here, uh, this is where we're gonna get the access token. And uh, here I'm using that request library from up top here. So it's just requests and get. And then if you go into um, the Marketo developer docs, you'll see that this is the call that we're doing. Um, and I'm using what's called an F string in Python. So I'm putting uh, the string is the two uh, single quotes here, but I'm putting an F outside of it. And that will allow me to use uh, those variables from up here uh, inside curly braces. So what this is really saying is my munchkin dot Marketo rest dot com identity OAuth token. And then grant type is client credentials. The client ID is my client ID variable. And the client secret is the, cl uh, the client secret from above. So I'm going to run this and I'm going to print the result. So we'll see down here, I got a response of 200, which is good. That means that the call worked, but uh, doesn't tell me a lot either. And that's because it, when you print this out, it's just going to print the response code. Uh, which is why we now need to get the actual JSON response. So I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to come down here. I'm creating a new variable called um, Marketo auth, and I'm going to have it uh, get this Marketo access, but I'm going to get the JSON from it. So I'm putting uh, Marketo access dot JSON and then uh, two parentheses there. And now I'm going to run this and I didn't print it. So let me print that. So now we see I got my access token. Uh, it says when it expires in and uh, what the scope of it is. So that's wonderful so far. Uh, and in fact, I'm just going to uh, print something else here. So I'll run this one more time. It's going to let me know how much time I have left uh, before it expires. And then finally, so when we come back up here, we can see that uh, since this is a JSON response, we can actually save um, any of these um, values to its own variable. So that's what I'm going to do here because this is going to be crucial in order to make additional calls. So I'm creating a variable called MAT for Marketo access token. And here I'm taking the Marketo auth response and I'm grabbing the access token uh, key. So the value from the Marketo access token key. So I'm going to store that here in uh, my MAT variable and I'll show you why here in the next step. So now um, what I wanna do is I'm just gonna make a simple call to get the smart campaigns within a program. So I'm creating a function, which I'm gonna call Marketo get SC. And while I'm doing this too, do just wanna show you that this is going to be the endpoint that I'm using uh, if you go to the developer docs. So I can see um, how the response is going to look. Um, what those keys I'm going to get are, and then I can also see the parameters uh, that you can have and whether they're optional or required. So the ones that I'm going to use, I'm going to use max return as 200. I'm going to use an offset, 
and I'm also going to use the folder. And here's again uh, in Marketo, there's folders in the program. Both folders and programs are folders, so you need to specify which one, and then uh, the ID. So I'm going to be getting um, I'm going to be getting these uh, smart campaigns from this folder, which is folder 2376. So let me come back down here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just creating a variable here called get sc. And again, I'm using the request.get and an f string here, which is showing um, the, the endpoint right there. And then uh, the first, so then you have the question mark. And here I have access token equals. MAT. So again, that's grabbing the access token that we just got in the previous step. Uh, that's crucial. Otherwise, this won't uh, work if you don't have the access token. Um, then I have the max return parameter, the offset parameter. And here is where I have the folder. And I'm putting this in double quotes because I'm using an F string here. So um, it's expecting a JSON. Uh, so I'm putting the ID of 2376 and then the type of program. So, and then this next step, again, because if I printed this out, uh, all it would tell me is 200. It's not going to actually give me the result. So um, I need to put uh, get sc json equals get sc dot json parentheses. And if I print that out, and down here is where I'll call the function. So I'm just, you'll see that there's nothing within these parentheses here. Um, so I'm going to now run this and I can see that I got a success. And um, if I expand this out, we'll see that I got a response in there, which is wonderful. So now let me clear that out. Um, but now what I really want to do is I want to get all of the names of those smart campaigns. So um, if I go back to the developer docs, I can see that um, here is the, the JSON response that I can expect. And I know that um, all of these, uh, the actual response is going to be um, under the, the result in the response. So that's why I have get sc result equals uh, this variable with the added um, looking exactly at that result uh, key. And then that's going to return a list. And uh, I guess just to show you, uh, you can also, um, I can do uh, print type. So when I do this, it'll say class is a list. So when it's a list, I know that I can iterate through it. So right here, I'm just creating up um, a for action. So I'm just, I'm assigning a variable of I to each one. So for I in get SC result list, I want to, uh, print I, but then print the key of name from, uh, each one. So now when I run it, we'll see, I got first trigger, second trigger and first batch. And when I come up to my program, I can see uh, first trigger, second trigger and first batch. So this is just a very simple example. You can obviously make this um, far more robust than this is, but I just wanted to show you kind of how uh, you can use the responses that you're going to get and uh, work through them that way. So I hope this is helpful. I will certainly be creating more variables or more videos with variables uh, to show you how to make even more use of this. But I really wanted to show you at least how to get that authentication uh, token because that's going to be what you need for all uh, future calls. So uh, let me know if you have any questions or if you have a request for anything that you'd like to see, and I'd be happy to make that.